I am so excited because it's the Christmas season and we're all decorated and ready to celebrate in our house. I absolutely love celebrating the Christmas season. And my reason for this is because it is when Jesus Christ joined us here on earth to live a perfect life and save us from our sins. And so it's like the beginning of this whole great story. And one part of the story that has always been interesting to me is the role that the angels play in the story. They are very prevalent in this story. So today we are going to look at the role that the angels play in the Christmas story. I'm going to read to you the first part of a little book I have about how angels are in the Christmas story. And I want you to count every time you see an angel appear on one of the pages. And then next time we're together, we will finish the story. After we finish today's story, we will draw a Christmas angel. And then next time, we're going to paint our Christmas angel. So I hope you really enjoy today's story and I also hope you enjoy the art project about the Christmas angel. Have a great time. This is Little Angel's Christmas Story, written by Julie Stone. The story of Christmas is the story of baby Jesus. It all happened long ago in a country far away. There, in a town called Nazareth, lived a woman named Mary. One day, as she was busy with everyday things, an angel appeared. Oh, Mary was startled. Don't be afraid, said the angel. God has chosen you for something very special. You are to be the mother of his son. You will name him Jesus. He will show the world God's love. Mary smiled and shook her head. I can't be a mother yet, she said. I'm not yet married. Whatever God wants can come true, said the angel. Will you be a part of God's plan? Mary knew at once. Yes, I will, she said. The angel disappeared back to heaven. Mary walked out among the springtime flowers. I really truly believe that everything will work out, she said to herself. I know I can trust in God's promises. I have never felt so happy. Even so, there was one fairly big problem. Everything had been arranged for Mary to marry Joseph. When he heard that Mary was expecting a baby, he felt very sad. It's not my baby, he sighed. Perhaps I should call off the wedding. In a dream, an angel spoke to him. God has a special plan for you, said the angel. God has chosen you to look after Mary and her baby. He is God's own son, and he will show God's love to all the world. Now Joseph felt happy too. He went to find Mary. I want us still to be married, he said. Now this is what we should do next. The emperor who rules our country wants to count just how many people there are. I need to go to the town where my family come from to put my name on the list. That means Bethlehem. And I want you to come too because we are going to be husband and wife. Together, Mary and Joseph made the long journey to Bethlehem. It was now almost time for the baby to be born. I shall be glad when we get there, said Mary. I really want to lie down somewhere soft and comfortable. We're sure to find a place to stay, said Joseph, but they couldn't. By the time Mary and Joseph reached Bethlehem, all the rooms were full. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. How many angels did you count? That was a lot of fun counting angels, wasn't it? So next time we're together, let's do it again. Now it's time to get started on our art project. For today's project, you will need watercolor paper, a pencil, and a black crayon. So let's get started. Step one. We are going to first draw the head of the angel. And we're going to draw this near the top of our paper. So you want to draw a circle or if you have a circle that you can trace handy, you can trace a circle. Step two, 
Next, we will draw the robe of the angel. So from one side of the angel's head, bring a line down for the robe and do the same thing on the other side. And remember, if you mess up at all, just fix it and erase and nobody will know the difference. That's why I always try to draw light. And then a nice wavy line across the bottom of our paper to end the robe. Step three. Now we will draw the face of the angel. I'm going to draw a little U for each eye so that it looks like the angel is looking down or like praying. And then a little nose and a nice little smile. It's all U shapes that we're drawing there. And then you get to decide how you want the hair to look. If you want your angel to be a boy or a girl. Do you want his hair sticking up or her hair long? So you get to decide and make an artistic choice here and then draw the hair however you would like like this angel's hair to look. Step four. Now we need to draw the angel's halo. It's a little oval type shape that would sit above the angel's head. And then we're just gonna draw some lines to show it's glowing like, ah. Step five. It's time for our angel to get some wings. So from one side of our angel, we're going to draw a little arc type of line out, not straight, so that's why it's a little arched or arced out. And we're going to do that on the other side. Then we're going to do the same type of line on the bottom. And in order to make these wings, we have to close them in. So we're going to draw a nice wavy line to connect our top and bottom line on each side. Step six. All right, it's time to outline our angel with black. If you don't like the look of outlining it with black, you can make your own artistic choice to outline with the color that you want. Um, like maybe you would outline the facial features with a peach or a brown, and maybe you would outline the clothes with whatever color you want the clothes, like pink or blue. Um, but I like the look of outlining with black because then later we will paint this and the black really helps the paint to look very nice and well done. So I will outline everything in black. Also, while you're outlining with your black, you can add your own little creative touches as you go. Like, do you want a design on the angel's dress at all? Here at the bottom of my dress, I'm going to draw a wavy line with dots. Do you want to give your angel some arms? I'm just going to draw two lines going in towards the center of the angel's body. And then I'm gonna draw two ovals like the hands are folded in prayer. And I'm going to outline the halo, of course. And other things that you could do is you could add details to the wings. Like I'm gonna draw a wavy line on my wings, but you could draw like feather type marks or any type of mark that you like. I'm also going to add um, some hills down here at the bottom, but you don't have to add hills. You could add clouds instead or a sunshine. I'm going to add a little manger down here with a little baby Jesus in it, um, but you don't have to do that. You get to make an artistic choice. And I'm also going to put a sheep or two down here, but these are all choices that you can make. You can do this. You can do something completely different, like a sky with a sunshine and some clouds or anything else like the little town of Bethlehem. So have fun adding and creating your own little details. And then when you are all done, you get to set it to the side. And the next time we are together, we will paint it. I hope you had fun creating with me today.